Hey YouTube, happy Black History Month to everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Queen Calafia, who is a powerful black queen of California and all surrounding territories in the Pacific Ocean about 500 years ago. Queen Calafia was so powerful that she was able to maintain peace over the entire Western United States, ranging from Utah, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, California, all the way out to territories in the Pacific Ocean. In fact, Queen Calafia was so powerful that when Hernando Cortez came over and tried to name the region, he was forced to name the state after her, naming it California. This was due to the powerful reputation of Queen Calafia. She was so powerful that the people who resided in the local tribes and the surrounding territories and in the state of California contested against the will of Hernando Cortez and told him that this state would be named California in honor of Queen Calafia, hence the name that we have today of California. Calafia was surrounded by an army of warrior women who were talented fighters. What, would, what was believed back then was that Calafia was a highly trained warrior herself and she would oftentimes offer salvation to any woman who were hurt or needed to have refuge and shelter, and she would take them in and train them as warriors. Queen Calafia ruled over a territory that was rich in natural resources, primarily gold, and she constantly fought off and conquered invaders along with her army. So it's really deep when we think about California and the abundance of gold, thinking about the California gold rush, you know, it was a place that was always really rich in resources. Of course, for many, many years, I mean, it isn't something that was recent, but Queen Calafia knew that people were aware of the riches that the state of California had, so she was always defending her territory. Something that's also very deep is that Queen Calafia was very, very, very involved in worshiping and honoring nature. So by doing this, she was able to have a connection with the divine. This was something back then that was very common with all of the tribes of the United States. And by doing so, they were able to live in harmony with nature and also animals as well. Queen Calafia was a master of commerce. In fact, she had her own fleet of ships and she would often do trading with different countries from regions in the eastern seaboard. So when I say eastern seaboard, I'm referring to um, eastern Asia in particular because it faces the west coast of California, so she would be trading with, say, countries in the Philippines or different islands. Something that's also really awesome about Queen Calafia is that there are many statues and art figurines of Queen Calafia throughout California, which is able to display a lot of the connection that the state of California has with her, although this is something that is primarily hidden from American history and that is untold. What is deep about this story is that it challenges much of what we have been told about the state of California. By researching and by looking at this, we're able to see that California's history is a lot deeper than what appears on the surface. In fact, the name of the state being named after Queen Calafia, who was a black queen in this time, changes the trajectory of the American history as well that has been voiced and told to the general American public. You guys, please drop your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I recommend that you do your research as well.